Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are here for this co-creation experience. Together, literally taking thought beyond that which it has been before. That's such a good thing. So good for all that is, so good for us, so good for you. So, you know why you're here? For more clarity, for more self-discovery of resonance, more calibration of the vibration of your physical focus with that non-physical energy stream that is you. That's the best part. That's the best part. Connecting with the whole of who you are. Have you been listening to us for a while? You have a sort of handle on what this is all about? You get the law of attraction, do you? And so you want to just jump right in? You want to jump into what you are about? Don't worry about us. We will wedge our message in the crack. Loving your reality is the key to a lovely reality. We like the sound of that. We can clarify it ever so slightly by adding these words, being a deliberate selective sifter, because there are things in your reality that are not lovable and don't try to force yourself to love what you don't feel natural love for, because there are things in the reality that you are witnessing that your inner being is not looking at at all. So when you look at those things, you take yourself from the stream of who you really are. So we would clarify or qualify it in this way. Want to love your reality and therefore decide to be a selective sifter and therefore choose what you focus upon by the way it feels. And when you hone in on something that feels good, milk it, stay focused on it and let the momentum become more. And that creates a lovely reality. And don't demand every moment of your reality be lovely. Let some of it be clarifying. Let some of it launch some rockets. Just remember that when you're focused upon what you do not want, and let's say for whatever reason, there's some momentum going. And so you've got a pretty good head of steam up on something that you do not want. Simultaneously, there is an equivalent wanted wave on the other side of that vibration a vortexual becoming that is happening because this focus has caused you to focus it into being even though in the moment of your knowing what you do not want you're not capable of knowing what you do want at the same time but you're creating it just the same and the inner being part of you is knowing it just the same and will hold the vibrational stance of it and at a moment in time when you are less resistant you will then catch the glimpse of that and that will be a satisfying moment and you know what's really delicious when you catch that satisfying glimpse and you take credit for what put it into being. That's what step five is. Step five is being back in step one, where you're knowing what you don't want and having the knowledge that you're creating something new and having the ability to use your selective sifting ability to focus in the direction of the desired part of the wave rather than the not desired part of the wave. Oh, it's so good. So what would source say is the true purpose of contrast? Expansion, more, eternalness, just little things like that. <laughs> Existence, continuing to be, potential for joy, the leading edge, the becoming who I really am. There's more. So in the face of contrast, is it always about focusing away from the contrast or allowing the contrast to cause self-reflection? Well, you can do either because you're human. You like the drama of the contrast, but you really don't have to focus yourself into the contrast because, oh, we've not said this before. Thank you so much for bringing it into the forum. Your desire for expansion is what has created the contrast to begin with because it's the first step in the new understanding. What about that? In other words, my desire to become and my desire to expand and my desire for new causes me to attract clarification from experience 
Esther's daughter said something so profound the other day to a, a group of people. She was talking about being with one of her children and wanting to say to them, in wanting to soothe them about a new contrasting experience that they were living and a little embarrassed about their failure in it. And she said to them, hey, you know, this is the first time I've been the mother of a five-year-old. This is the first time I've been the mother of a six-year-old. This is the first time I've been the mother of a seven-year-old. In other words, you've got to allow yourself these first-time experiences, these first-time exposures to these clarifying, rocket-launching, becoming, and continuing to be the eternal being that you are being. Yes? What would you think of renaming the word contrast to fertilizer? <laughs> Well, we want to make a clarification that we think is really worth making, and that is, let's talk about contrast and resistance, and let's not call them the same thing. Let's call contrast the productive launch, and fertilizer is sort of that too. It's shining an intensity on something already established, so it applies, certainly, but let's make a very clear distinction between contrast, which is so valuable, and resistance, which is not necessary and slows things down. So contrast may not be optional, but the resistance is. Well said. But at the same time, we wouldn't be hard on ourselves about resistance because after all, this may be the first time you've been the mother of a five-year-old. You got to give yourself a break. That's like asking yourself to do anything and to get it just the way you want it the first crack out of the box. But that's attachment too, right? That's what? Being attached to outcome, which we also want to avoid. Well, we wouldn't get too heavy on that because manifestation is a real thing. And manifestation is the outcome of the way you're flowing energy. It's the follow through. It's the follow through. And so you're not ever going to hear us say, don't be excited about manifestation because manifestation is the evidence of a consistent alignment or direction of thought. But the reason people say that, and we understand, we said it already today. We said there's a difference between finding alignment, which then produces the evidence and needing the evidence to produce the alignment. So if someone says, don't get attached to the outcome, they must surely be meaning, don't need the outcome to hook you up, get hooked up and let the outcome then show you that you're hooked up in case you're not aware by the ecstasy you're feeling. You know, you get used to your emotions so much so that sometimes you have negative emotion and don't know it. And sometimes you have positive emotion and you don't know it. We'd like you to know it. We'd like you to be a deliberate, intentional, conscious calibrator. Like when you're tuning to the guitar, you feel when the tuning happens and you can feel when it's off and you can feel when it clicks into place. Calibration is the name of deliberate creation game, really. Yeah? Yep. These are really good questions, yeah? yeah? And the answers are extraordinary. I agree. Our answers are only as good as your questions, ever. It's the other side of the wave. So, you know, we're always either in the energy of the problem or the energy of the solution. Or somewhere in between. Or somewhere in between. Let's say it's a spectrum. When you think of relativity, if you didn't know some pain, could you know the relief of it? If you didn't know darkness, could you know light? If you didn't know aggravation, could you know fascination? If you didn't know boredom, could you know interest? And so let's let it all be there and let's call it all important and delicious to the deliberate calibration of thought. I yeah? love that, so yeah. good. Yeah, and so those people who bug you the most, bless their hearts. Bless their hearts because they're responsible for the majority of your expansion. Pick one, the one that gives you the most grief and give them so much love and appreciation and tell them, I am who I am because of you. You aggravated me into my exaltation. Enough? Enough, yes, thank you. Really good.
really good. Really, really good. We'll get you right here. Yeah.